was that was a great honor and it went really well. I, I was there for about a year and like my song said, if you were listening, it, it says she never did do one of my songs. Well, I started to get suspicious about that because I thought my songs aren't that bad, you know. So I had a little sit down and I talked to Loretta and I asked her what was going on and she said, well, honey, you're just a tax write-off for me. <laughs> she said, I'm writing all my own songs right now. I, I got all the hits I need. I, and uh, I said, well, you know what? You're right. That's all right. But I said, if that's the case, I need to, I need to move on. I need to be with a real company that's going to back me up. You know? And she said, yep, you're right, honey. And uh, she made a couple calls, and the next thing you know, that's when I wound up sitting down with Waylon Holmes. Waylon just took a chance on me. He had no way to know if I was going to make it or not, but for some reason he he put his faith in me, and things started to happen. Next thing I know, I had Randy Travis and Kenny Rogers and Barbara Mandrell and the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, and uh, I, it just it just started happening. I couldn't hardly keep up with it. It was all going so well, and again, I wish I'd have had a cell phone because I would have called my mom. Now I'm at, at CBS Songs with Waylon Holyfield, and I would have called my mom and I would have said, "Mom, you won't believe who all is recording my music." There's a record coming out every week or so. It's got one of my songs on it. And I said, I'm meeting all these people. I said, and I, I would have said, Mom, this is it. It can't get no better than this. And once again, I would have been wrong. Because <laughs> here's what happened next. I was standing there daydreaming one day looking out the window of that office and I saw an old orange and white rusted out international jeep, international harvester jeep. It come flying into the parking lot, sort of slid into the parking place and the door flew open wide and this big old tall guy with this long flowing hair he had on holy blue jeans and rough out boots and he had a Marlboro cigarette gun. <laughs> and he come dragging them boot heels across the parking lot. I said, who is that? He said, that's Guy Clark. You should get to know him. I said, you damn right. <laughs> I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to know him quick. But see, I, I didn't get to know him quick because he, if if you ever saw a guy, you'd know he, he had one of those mouths that both sides of his mouth turned out. <laughs> Even when he was happy. <laughs> I'm happy as hell. <laughs> so I, I was intimidated by him for quite a while, and I, had, I slowly got close to him, you know. Kind of like you do a big, mean-looking dog. <laughs> but I realized, you know, after I got to know him, that if you if you peeled off enough layers, there was a little puppy under there. Uh, well, quite a few layers, but it, 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 it was under there. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to get to the point. Uh, got to know guy a little bit, and then one day he said, Berlin, you got to help me out. I said, yeah, what do you need, guy? And he said, well, I hadn't made a record in 11 years. He said, I need to make my comeback record. He said, I ain't got no money, and I think you're just the guy that can help me do it. <laughs> I said, I'll do my best, guy. What do you need? So we went down in the studio, and we started piecing together this little record. We, uh, we cut corners every way we could. We, for instance, we uh, we took a microphone and wrapped a towel around it, and we beat on it for the drum sound. It'd be like, <laughs> that was our kick drum sound. And, uh, I mean, this was low budget. 
And the whole time, it was just me and Guy, and we're putting together these tracks, and I, I kept thinking to myself, you know, Guy's songs are good, but this record, it's going to sound cheap, and it ain't going to be no good. And we finally got all the songs recorded and stuff with everything we could do, and Guy said, well, now it's time to call in some faith. And the next thing I knew, in walked Amy Lou Harris to do some harmonies. Following her was Vince Gill to put on some, some hot smoking lead guitar, acoustic guitar. Here comes Sam Bush. Had his uh, national metal body uh, mandolin. And he played slide mandolin. I'd never seen that before in my life. And I forget who all else came in, but I started to think, you know what, this record's sounding good. <laughs> this is going to be a good record. And uh, it turned out to be a record called, a guy named it Old Friends, which, which I thought was good because we, we kind of, we immediately, if, if it's possible, we immediately became old friends. Uh, it just felt like I'd known him forever and he, he acted like he had known me forever, you know. So th this would be the title of that record. I look back at it and I think, you know, at, at that point in my uh, my career, uh, it, it, this was pretty high cotton. Picking with Guy Clark and... Uh, It's like making conversation and you're trying not to scream and you're trying not to tell them you don't care what they mean. And you're really feeling fragile and you really feel alone and you really feel abandoned and you really can't get home. That's when you call it. Old friends, they shine like diamonds. Old friends, you can always call old friends, Lord, you can't buy. You know it's old friends after all. you but the window shade when it's hard to put your finger on the thing that scares you most and, and you can't even tell the difference between an angel and a ghost that's when you better call old oh, friends they shine like diamonds old oh, friends you can always call It's old friends, after all. Yes, it's old friends. They shine like diamonds. Old friends, you can always call. Old friends, Lord, you came by. Yes, it's old. Uh, would you say I've been here six times now? Yep. Well, no wonder. No wonder I look out in the crowd and it feels like family here. I, so many familiar faces. And forgive me if I don't remember all of your names, but I see a whole lot of familiar faces. And a bunch of old friends is what I see. Why don't y'all sing a little with me? Friends, they shine like shine like old friends. Old friends, you can always call. You can always call. Old friends, you can't. 
כמובן,